Now, how much are you paying to fill up your car? Well, the likelihood is more than ever because the price of diesel has reached record prices. Yes, I mean, across our region, there are some garages that um, it's a, over a pound a litre now. So as those fuel prices rise, the search for a new source of energy is continuing. More people are converting their vehicles to run on biofuel. But although cheaper and greener, it isn't without its cri critics. But a Didcot-based company thinks it might have found the perfect solution in the Tetrofa plant, as Alistair Bunkle now explains. In the highly competitive hunt for alternative energies, there is a new and unlikely celebrity. Unremarkable to look at, but highly toxic. The Dratrofa tree could wield the answer to the agricultural and economic criticisms of more traditional biofuels. Dratrofa offers a fantastic advantage to move away from food type oils into non-food oils. They produce seeds which are non-edible oil. Um, they can grow on land which is unfit for agriculture production. But is biofuel the ideal, cheap, green solution to the world's search for new energy? Not exactly. Now, soya and rapeseed oil is all very well, but they are food. So producing and using it on a mass scale to power vehicles is, in effect, reducing the world's food resources. But that's not the case with Drototha. This is it in its seed form and then, ultimately, in its oil form. So, ethically and financially sound, it's perfect. Well, almost. Jatropha has only traditionally been grown in very small scale plots. So the risk is, is this a truly scalable, a scalable product? Can we actually grow this in the sort of volume we need to? And really, no one quite knows how this stuff's actually going to grow in a very large landscape. But those who have their fingers in the Jatropha pie will be keeping them firmly crossed that it does work. Regenatech have just signed an agreement to go into business with an Indian-based company called Cleanstar. An energy giant, BP, has announced it will invest almost £32 million in a separate project. Now, the fact that these trees grow in land which is unfit for agriculture production, you're talking barren lands, uh, and you are talking parts of the world <clears throat> in rural India and rural Africa, poorer parts of the world, they create a lot of jobs and sustainable jobs in those, in those regions. So, are we likely to be driving a biofuel car anytime soon? Well, on an economic level, oil companies will always win. Their margins are so great that they could easily be trimmed to price companies like Regenatech out of the market. But if farming Jatropha does work, then where Regenatech will succeed is by appealing to the conscience persuading consumers that Jatropha oil is not only cheap, but that it also represents free trade fuel. Alistair Bunkley in Didcot for Thames Valley tonight.